Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Now, uh, I don't know what I'm doing today, I'm pretty much going to wing it. Um, I'm going to do, I'm going on holiday in a couple of weeks, so I want a nice holiday set of nails, so I'm experimenting at the moment. Um, I did these yesterday, which I love, and I'm seriously thinking of these of some kind of holiday nails, but I also wanted to include the, because it's October will be Breast Cancer Awareness Month, um, incorporate these possibly but I'll go through what I've got out and then we will s we'll see what happens so I'm going to be using the glitter bells obviously pink opal their core powder as well as their glass slippers which is the core powder we'll be using stone grey marshmallow and my favourite Michaela also I have obviously my bows, the Pink Rose by Glitter Stella, which is really pretty. Um, I don't know which ones I'm going to be using, so I've got a few out. Now this is by Busy Nails and these are gorgeous little iridescent flowers which are drawn to those at the moment. And this is called Pink Champagne, if you can see it. And that is by, who is this, by Elite Elite glitters, and I've also I've just decided to get out Violet Pearl by Glitter Bells as well. So we've got quite a few to go on with. Um, I'm thinking the Violet Pearl and the Stone Grey, these gorgeous little flowers will be one set. Okay, and also I shall be using your nails protein bond as well. I mean, obviously we don't need to use it on a false nail because it's just a false nail, but um, I'm just trying to sort of go through the motions of it all. It would normally, you would just put it on the um, exposed nail bed, not the whole thing. So, just do that. And then um, we shall wing it and see what happens. Okay, so I'm not going to do these in any particular order. We'll just... I'm just going to do some and then we'll put them together as a set afterwards so I'm just going to do one at a time so move everything else out of the way and I think I'm going to be going in with the stone grey and the violet pearl um, and I think we may do a little marble possibly if it works I am improving slowly at these marbles so um, we shall see what happens it down. Don't need a lot, it just needs to cover that area ready for marbling. The only thing I find with this particular um, violet colour, it's quite dry. shall we say. Um, it doesn't matter how much liquid you have on your brush, it always seems to come out dry, which I don't know why, but it's okay. Just do a random marble. Hopefully I'm still in shot here. Uh -oh. It's not bad at all. Start with the purple, then with the stone grey there. And the trick is not to press really hard with your brush. You've got to be so gentle with it, you're literally just touching it. Just so it blends, but you don't want any deep divots in it because it's it's gonna spoil it so go up the top it'll be quite a big bit of grey I do love the grey thing is this purple is quite overpowering so it doesn't hurt to put a bit extra grey on it like that See, that is quite a dry 
strong a bead. So up. And down like that. That looks about right. And then all we're going to do, if we can see down these sides, see where we've missed a little bit. Just going to go in with a bit of grey. Cover that bit in. We're going to go in with a little bit of the Violet Pearl and do that bit. That's not a bad marble. So, also just found this glitter out. There is no name for this glitter um, because it was a AliExpress purchase and it came as a pack of, I don't know, about six or something like that. So well, I'm just going to go in with the, not very organised today, a little bit of the glass slippers and some of this, just a few dots on there, just to break it up and have a little bit of sparkle, I don't want to go over the top, I don't want to spoil it. How pretty is that? Okay, I've also got in with just a few of these um, shards. I don't have a name for these either. These was also bought as a pack from AliExpress. But what I will do is leave the link for those ones for you. And they're just little mylar flakes and they come in a pack of, I think it might be 12, something like that. And they're, they're gorgeous as you can see. So I've just put a few on top of there with the glitter. Okay, so next we're going to have a go, I'm not promising this is going to be any good, at an ombre. The grey and lilac, obviously. The grey and, uh, I can't remember the colour, but the one that I worked with previously. That's terrible, isn't it? I, must, I don't know. Violet pearl, that's it. Violet pearl. So just going in with a little bit of grey to start. Clean off my brush. Blend that up a little bit. I don't want a harsh line, you know, just a nice little blend. Now I haven't I don't know how these colour blends, this violet pearl. I really have trouble even picking a bead up of it. It's just I don't know, I can't see, it's more just powder. You can't even get a, a big bead on your blooming brush, so I don't know how this is going to blend, but we'll, we'll give it a go. Just bring all the nail up first. Just use that as banging, that's my brush knocking the camera. Okay, so. I'm not, it's not going to be a perfect blend, but I am going to be putting some flowers over it so it's not overly important that it's spot on, which is a good job because it's not. There we go, that'll just need to make this um, violet pearl a little bit more opaque. It's quite translucent. There we go, that's better. Okay. So we've got that, and then we're going to be coming in with these little beauties. And while the acrylic is still wet, hopefully, we can pop them on. Oh, they are so pretty. Like I said before, I'm really trying to figure out a nice holiday set of nails. I want something pretty but not in your face. Um, so I thought, hmm, we will give it a go today. I quite like the ones I've got on. So, 
but I haven't used these flowers before so I wanted to bring these into it somewhere really like that put another one down there just the one like that that is so pretty and then I thought we could come in with our mylar as well just wet everything a few flakes So they're all over, literally just a few scattered about like that. It's just a little bit of something going on. There we go. So that's that one done. I'm going to pop that to one side. Okay, number three. I did say I was going to win this set, which I am. So I have just gone and got out my angel thread. Um... No, I, don't, I can't read what it says. It's that one, anyway. And, and I can't tell you who it was from. All I know it was from a lady on eBay. But I will see if I can find her for you and put the link there. Okay, so. I'm going to do a full nail of this one. Whatever it's called, which I've forgotten again. Violet Pearl. That's glitter in it, there we go. Full nail of Violet Pearl. Don't have to, doesn't have to be really thick. Just full. Now, we're going to get our thread. Pop it on. Hopefully, that's going to dry. I'll cut it once it's dried properly. Just try and make sure it's all in. There we go. Then we'll work on the top of that. Then we're going to be coming in with our flowers. So we will get a bit of clear. some of our flowers on. So we've got a full on bling nail. So, right, I'm going to leave that to dry and we'll come back to that afterwards. Okay, so we're going to do the same with the grey as what we did with the violet pearl just a minute ago. So, I'm going to do a full nail of the grey. Then, we're going to come in with our angel thread and do and cover that again. But I'll do it on each colour because it's going to give it a slightly different effect on each colour you use. So that's oh, going to be perfect. Okay. So this is, I'm not prepared, hasn't got any cut. So I'm just going to cut a bit off. And we're going to do the same as what we did on the last one. Pop it over the top. It down like that. So 
that just gives a completely different look. It's amazing how different it looks with a different colour underneath. So I'm going to let you watch me finish this off now and I'm going to do another marble nail as well. So there we go, all filed and buffed. And now, for the fun part, I shall let you watch this. There we go guys, that's the finished set. 
aren't they stunning? If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, I'd be very grateful if you would subscribe and share away, get everybody in. Um, and that's it from me for now. So I shall see you again soon. Bye.